Hello, this is Patrick with Roy's, and today I'll be teaching you how to do point and click pathfinding using the navigation region 2D. Okay, so the first thing we are going to want to do is go over here and put in the node navigation region 2D. And then over here, we'll need to make a navigation polygon. So we'll just go and do new navigation polygon. And so now that you see when we're clicked onto the navigation region, we get this bar up here. So when it's on the create points, we can go and draw points that are going to define the areas where we can walk. So I'm just going to draw around here very quickly. And then this will just define the areas that like our character can go. And so they won't be able to walk into any areas that we haven't surrounded with these. So I'm just going to finish up here. Okay, now I am going to click Bake Navigation Polygon. And as you can see, we now have this area that's highlighted in blue. This is the areas that are walkable by the character. We can um, go and click on the Navigation Polygon and go Agents. We can change the radius of the agents. So like, let's say we've got some bigger characters, so we'll say 20 pixels. And then we can rebake and they shrink because the character won't be able to fit into those places. So we can just define which size we want our characters to be, and that will inform how big the navigation polygon is. All right, now we'll need to make a character that can walk around in this. So we'll go and make a new node, and this will be a character body 2D. And then this character body will, of course, have a collision shape 2D. Collision shape doesn't really matter for this, but I'll just do a rectangle. Then I am going to do a sprite 2D, just so that we can see it. The sprite, I am just going to assign the default Godot icon. And then I am going to do another navigation. But this time, it's going to be a navigation agent 2D. So now I'm going to shape these into a decent size. I'm just going to go over here and do 0.5, unlink this, 0.5. Then put that in the center. This about the size. It doesn't really matter for this. Now I've got a script, Pathfinding CS. I'm going to attach that. Now in this script, I'm going to export a couple variables. So I'm going to export the speed. And that's going to be a float. And so this is just going to be the speed that the character moves between the waypoints that is created by the Pathfinding system. So I'm just going to set this to 300F. And then I'm going to export a navigation agent 2D. And I'm going to call it agent. Now, I don't need either of these functions, so I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to go public, override, input. Now, I'm just going to get the input of where the, uh, the player clicks. And then that the character will pathfind to that area as long as it's within the bounds. So I'll just say if at event is input event mouse button click and click dot pressed cool now we're going to say if the click dot button index does not equal mouse button dot left we will return so only on the left click now we'll go and set the path on the agent. So we'll go agent dot target position is equal to click dot global position. So this will set the position to this um, or set the target position to be the world position that the player clicked on. So we'll go now down here and we'll go public override and physics process. 
we'll make a vector two target position and we'll set that equal to agent dot get next path position and this has to be called on every physics update so um you don't want to put this behind an if statement or anything because it needs to be called okay now we'll do a vector two direction and we'll set that equal to target position minus global position and then we'll say if target position dot distance to global position and we'll just do something small like 3f we'll return Oh, not direction, distance. Whoops. Now we'll set the velocity on the character body. So we'll go velocity. Velocity. Oh, okay. Is equal to direction dot normalized. And then multiply that by speed. Then we will just call move and slide since it's a character body 2D. So we'll go back here and I'll just move the character body somewhere like there, that works. Oh, at, right, and I need to assign the navigation agent 2D. There you go. You can obviously mess with the tolerances so that they're not clipping through, but that's just setting the radius of the character. So let's try 25, fake, run it. Yeah, they're not as close to the wall as they were before. And there you go. That's how you do some point-and-click movement in Godot. Thanks. Bye.